One crucial aspect that we're working on in Destiny is the observation simulation fusion through data simulation. But what is data simulation? Data simulation is the methodology used in numerical weather prediction to optimally combine information coming from millions of recent Earth system observations and information from model simulations. We do this to obtain the best possible estimate of the current state of the Earth system, which is called the analysis. This analysis plays a very important role in numerical weather prediction, because it provides the initial state for the weather forecast. So why do we use such approach? Observations are accurate, but also sparse. They do not cover the whole globe or resolve all vertical slices of the atmosphere at each time instant. Besides, not all atmospheric, land or ocean characteristics can be directly observed. On the other hand, the forecast model provides a complete representation of the Earth system state. But it's often less accurate than observations, as the predicted evolution of the atmosphere, land or ocean deviates from the real evolution with time. Therefore, the observations and the short range model forecasts are merged objectively by accounting for their error statistics. So, what exactly are we doing in Destination Earth in this respect? We're adapting the data simulation methodologies currently used at ECMWF by developing a more continuous simulation system that will allow us to incorporate Earth system observations in a timely manner as soon as they arrive. This will allow us to create more frequent initial conditions for the digital twin simulations. We're also enhancing the spatial resolution of the data simulation system to provide more adequate initial conditions. High resolution data simulation allows us also to explore the larger number of high resolution satellite observations. We have recently, for example, demonstrated that this allows us to resolve a much greater part of wind variability, leading to better analysis of tropical cyclones and tropical convective areas in general. Going towards higher spatial resolutions in the data simulation involves a number of challenges related to the use of observations, the assumptions made about observation and model errors, and tackling all these challenges is very exciting and will help us improve the quality of our extreme digital twin simulations.